All right, so this is an idea I've had for a while. I've actually tested it before, but I've had very limited success. So hopefully this time is a little bit different. And the engine bay is very dirty. As you can see, this is actually a whole bunch of dry shampoo that I sprayed over everything because it helps with 3D scanning. So eventually I'm gonna be producing a full carbon fiber intake tube for the Nissan Frontier. No particular reason, I have the tools available and I figured it'd be a cool exercise in practical applications of the materials I have available. So that means I had to start with 3D scanning everything, getting as much data and geometry as possible. Um, that includes scanning with the whole intake track in place and then I removed it. That means I had accurate location geometry for the throttle body and mass airflow sensor with the whole intake tube removed. Which then brings us to this, which is a 3D printed ABS intake tube. I haven't actually tested it on the car yet. As you can see, it is two pieces right down in the middle. I have tape holding it together. I need to bond this together and make it one. But other than that, it looks great. Um, and it's probably hard to see on camera, but it actually winds right here by uh, a decent amount. But the throttle body end and mass airflow sensor end is perfectly matched. Uh, to be as obstruction free as possible. Real trick here is to make sure it doesn't mess with the mass airflow sensor. Previous times I've tried this, I completely replaced the whole air box and had a cone filter on the end. Uh, the engine wasn't happening, it was making knocking noises or throw a check engine light. So this I'm hoping actually improves performance and sound a little bit and hopefully everything just works right. But first things first, I gotta get these two parts bonded together. Um, I did do a little bit of light sanding on the ends, uh, just to clean up a little bit of flashing and stringing issues I had. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much untouched. As you can see, there's a little bit of, little bit of sanding, but nothing much, looks pretty good. So I came inside because it's a little bit warmer and it's gonna be easier to work on this. So I have a few options when trying to bond this together. I could actually melt it, use like a soldering iron and kind of plastic weld it together. Uh, I could also use super glue. I've had pretty good luck with that, but I've opted to use acetone because I've had the highest success rate and really good bonding with it. The finished product I got carried away because I poured more acetone than I needed so I ended up painting uh, the inside and outside of both ends as well as the breather port that actually started to drip uh, seam isn't super pretty but it seems to be holding up really well I'm gonna give a little more time to dry and kind of cure all the way through and then uh, go test it on the truck all right just wanted to show you the beauty of 3d scanning it is perfectly lined up with the throttle body and mass airflow sensor for straight out of the gates. Um, sadly enough, the silicone couplers have to be cut down because they're just too long for this application. All right, so I was filming on my GoPro. It decided to die and won't turn back on. I don't know what's wrong with it, but the truck is running. It seems to be running good. Um, definitely really stiff. I actually am worried I got it too close between intake tube and air box, mass airflow sensor. And then same thing on throttle body. It's so close, it might not have enough wiggle room to actually allow for movement or expansion. So I'm gonna take it around the block and see how it worked. And I brought the factory intake and some tools just in case the 3D printed one decides to crap out on me. I haven't driven my truck in over a week, so the battery is pretty dead. It had just enough juice to start it, so I don't really want to turn it off for a while. Um, that being said, it actually reset my trip. Holy cow, it's dusty in there. The biggest problems I had with the previous air intakes that I 3D printed, I was using a cone filter, and I don't know if it was just wrong calibration, the mass airflow sensor wasn't happy, or if it was just sucking in too much hot air, but uh, it made a lot of detonation pinging noise. It just really was not happy. Um, I, when I tried it prior to that, it was throwing check engine lights. So I'm hoping with keeping the stock mass airflow sensor, everything will be good. And I have to say, I don't hear any of those noises right now.
Induction noise, there is an ever, ever so slight difference. is telling me I picked up a few horsepower. I'm not really sure how to quantify that. It does feel quicker, but like I said, I haven't driven this truck in like a week and a half. So I've kind of lost my frame of reference of, you know, its performance, but it does feel a bit more alive. Uh, I'm just not really sure how to quantify that without getting on a dyno. I do have a draggy I can use. I can do like a quarter mile or eighth mile test uh, with the stock intake and then uh, with this 3d printed one but i have to say i think it's i think it's improved like i said in the beginning of the video i do plan on making a carbon fiber intake and that will stay on the truck this is more or less just a test to make sure the fitment was good i'm probably going to wait until it warms up outside i'm not trying to do carbon fiber or anything with epoxy resin while it's this cold so hopefully this intake holds up if it doesn't got the factory one in the back seat anyways don't forget to like and subscribe i should have the light pods for the roof video coming out real soon both light pods are done being printed i just have to finish them out and install them anyways that's going to be a wrap for today i will see you guys in the next one